Hello and welcome to Dear With Photography. Having a quick look at the images which I have put up on the wall at my caravan. Now, this is the fourth road bridge with here is the new fourth road bridge, which as of today is now come into service. It was still being built when I took this picture. Still a gap in between it. This is one of the big pictures that I uh, that I got done. I got eleven prints in total. Close up, you. I don't think you can make. You might be able to make out that there's water on it. Has some really nice colour to it. And moving down this is a walk that goes from Campbell Castle we've got the fallen wood that's been chopped up here you've got the moss green on the pla on the stones and on the trees Going up to a, a really big, this is a close up, as close as I could actually get my lens to go. Uh, at Edlinden um, Country Park, which is near Kilwinnan, they had lots of these little water walking beetles. I do have its eye colour of it. I actually sat on a pontoon waiting for it to come close enough to take a pictures. I took a few. This is actually what I think is the nicest one. You've got the reflection in the water of it back up to itself. So I had to have quite a fast shutter speed for it because they don't stand around too long. Just a simple close-up of a flower. Focusing actually on the dead centre rather than the outside. A group of flowers. So moving from one single flower to a cluster of them. This is one of the ones from uh, Glasgow Botanical Centre. This one a little harder to, to actually make out completely. Uh, it's a small little bird. It blends quite well into the into the background. But I was just walking along and he turned up there on the path. Another close up, mostly of the two, with I have lots of empty space that side. This one is just along the coast from where I am. We have the flowers, the rocks with the moss on. And we've got the lead there. Then you come back in to the mountains and the clouds in the sky. All these are actually printed on the cheap print paper. These ones were done with the, the cannon ink that came with the printer. But they're really light. This is my 
giant bee on white flowers eaten so you've got the shine of its back and its wings this is the one that I got printed because it's in the big frame back to Port Crossing this is just simply a boat that was there this is a ferry the view from the end of that path the one that I showed further back of the walk path with uh, the shadows on when you got to the end of it you came to the main road and this is the view up from the road now we go back to the botanical centre and we have this plant that's better we have this plant don't know what it's called but it's like honeycomb type effect that it has and these aren't these are flowers that, that it has it's all yellow different shades but makes a really nice picture this is a mushroom close up Got the thing focus back you can see the specks of dirt and in it and the texture of its stem It has an unusual shape because it comes to a point here, so it's not totally circular. I used a tripod and the, and a remote shutter to do it because the ground was a bit moist and very soft. I didn't want any shake on it. Right, along to my big wall these picture frames I got in uh, pound stretcher they are meant to be three pound but they had a discount on so they came down now this is near where my caravan is at Cosby Towers and this is a small little waterfall there and I mean it is small with the light on the background and the darker at the at the end towards you normally you would have that probably the other way around you have to use a tripod for, for this because of the darkness and all of that lot another one from where I am is the image that I use on my site is the tree The sky has a really love red and of this year the times I've been up this picture is the only time the sky has looked like that which does make it quite rare these are vintage cars a group of three in a line I took this at Peebles where all of these people who were staying over at the hotel there's a few other cars as well they were doing a like old time driving rally tour around so they were all parked up quite happy to talk about their cars and quite happy for you to take pictures of 
This is Daniela again. It's actually at the same place as the one with the tower that I said looked like came from abroad. And if you're wondering, the little straps around, she's carrying her camera, which you can just about see at the bottom there. This is another one of Cosby Towers and this is the walk bit that on one of my pictures that I said when we talked about uh, things to take images to find we have lots of colour different colours in, in it greens, browns the pathway sky it was still quite dark when I took it, um, but it did turn out pretty well. Just trying to cut off the blinds behind that are giving me the light. This is Daniela at uh, Doe Castle, D-O-U-N-E. This is the castle where Monty Python uh, did the movie at. across uh, two ducks swimming around a large rock this was done at Cumbria Island the top part about half a mile away from the ferry where it comes in this is my actions <laughs> This is uh, the F1 powerboat event. Runs two days, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. This is the second year that it has been. It has it happens at Greenock, and it took me here just to find out that it started at ten o'clock in the morning and went to about four. This is a Another picture of the coast. It's very hard not to get the reflections of other things in it. This is a much bigger, just the head of a single flower. Once again, this is the Glasgow Botanical Centre bit. This is a really strong orange colour. I don't know if you can see that. This one is, is quite dark. You've got the lights just coming through the trees and the path. This was an ancient priory which is near Calder, near Stirling. And then we turn round to four of my big pictures and this is why I brought them up because I wanted to put them on this wall if you're wondering what the noise is it's me I'm kneeling on the bed um, this is a horse sculpture it's at Greenock uh, near to the police station on the main road we've got the clouds and we've got the sculpture we have this one. This one is actually nearer to Port Crossan. It's along the coast from it. A short walk. Once again, this picture does have really good detail, which probably you can't see, but you can make out all the stones and the green grass behind and one really big one of a jet ski that is the correct way up we have the water across the bottom here he came along here came up and over and he's heading back down 
This had to be done at a very fast speed because if you take it he's not hanging around on that. So we do have a lot of darkness but he has a bright jacket on bright and and you can see the drops of water if you were here you could see the drops of water much clearer than what you can on the video because it won't zoom in and go close enough and keep it sharp but that's once again from the power boat event and this one was again on Isla Cumbria looking more across to Butte in the noon I've got the foreground with some colour in it the movement of the water which you can see in the in, in the picture you can just see the speckles effects there that's the movement of the water a little faded dullness on the on the mountain and a lot of very good cloud cover and lastly try and work out the light this is Aberdour Castle it's along the road from Kil Kilcardy it's a historical Scotland site it has a room with a painted ceiling but it's immensely faint and very hard to get a picture of so as we see this is what I've done with my photos it doesn't say all these pictures <coughs> will stay but what I can do is I can take some more pictures if I like them I can swap out and have a different style a different formation of pictures and replace them whenever I want with something else and as I say we all have a, a wall a room some place where we can put our pictures into frames there is no one else who's going to have the pictures you are these are one-offs unless you print a whole pile of them and give them to someone else but why don't you get your photos on the wall and enjoy them and let other people who are coming to your house enjoy them as well thank you much longer than I thought this video was going to be um, but please like comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next video thank you bye